Hey, it's Ghost World. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the worst coaster ever. A coaster that makes Vacoma SLCs even mind bl mind eraser and even Goliath look good. Yeah, it's that bad. I think it might be the worst coaster ever. Now, I've not ridden this coaster or Goliath or mind eraser, but so, in today's video, I wanted to go based off three things. The layout, reviews of the coaster, and how much of a hated coaster it is. And really look at everything. Theming, um, just every kind of thing that makes a ride good. So... Let's get into today, today's First of all, let's look at what makes a coaster bad. Bad coasters are usually rough, have boring layouts, or bad trains. And sometimes, most of the time actually, they have lack of theming, and just elements that should pop really are just the most disappointing parts of the ride. So, let me talk about the world's worst coaster, Gudorax. I, I just probably butchered its name, but this coaster's bad. Gudorax is what I'm going to be calling it because I don't know how to pronounce its name. Um, I believe it was built by Aerodyna um, Aerodynamics, which is a great company. I love Aero, but this coaster was seriously just... Terrible. It does not stand to this day, but it had a decent layout, but from everyone I've heard from, this coaster was pure, just rough. I've looked at reviews of it, and no one had really anything. I couldn't find one comment that had good things about it. It's just a plain terrible coaster. So, let's get into the layout, though. We'll start off with a small drop off into your chain lift. Your chain lift will then then lift you up, and it is a slow chain lift, as you can see here. This coaster has one of the slowest chain lifts I've ever seen. I actually would be okay never getting this credit from how bad I've heard. Because it has those terrible over the shoulder restraints. There's no wonder it wasn't it doesn't operate anymore. This coaster's bad. Then you'll kinda do what some of the corkscrews models do, where you kind of bang where you turn to the left a little bit, or the I think it's the left, and then you do the shallowest drop ever. It is so bad. You do do one of a, a one of a kind type element, which is kind of unique. And you kind of do a janky bat wing. You can tell how bad that shaping is. I mean, just look at this again. I mean, look at that shaping. This is in slow mo. You can see how rough it is. Just from a slow video. Which is crazy. It almost looks like if you smooth the coaster and plan a coaster way too much. After that, after this incredibly bad looking bat wing, you'll go into a vertical loop. Which I will say, it actually does look decent. And then you'll go into a high quick speed turn type thing, corks, two corkscrews, or a double corkscrew, a, like, terrible, rough-looking turn, into walk section, when, which you'll drop, and you lose so much speed in this moment. Then you're basically done with the coaster after your walk section, as you just go up the layout. So, what's really wrong with this coaster? It looks... Almost as rough as a Vacoma SLC, or maybe more rough. The transitions are terrible. 
shaping of the transitions look bad. And of course, I'm no roller coaster expert, so of course, this is something I don't know. I've only seen how good looking shape, how good shaping on other good coasts, on actual good coasters are. And I'm no roller coaster engineer, so don't take this full heart. Um, with full heart of grain or something, I don't even know the phrase, but the coaster just looks bad. It looks worse than Tacoma SLCs, in my opinion, and really would be a coaster that I personally just ride, maybe just ride for the credit, like, maybe, at most. I'm never going to ride it for the actual enjoyment of it. I might also ride for its first element if I ever went to ride it. But just, well, I can't even ride it because it's no longer exists. This coaster was so bad it was taken down. Um, I hate it. Now, of course, it could be getting relocated, but as far as I know, it is taken down. And it looks to be the world's worst coaster. Also, real quickly, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It helps out the channel, and I have a few more. I'm going to give my overall opinion about this coaster, and why, and a little quick thing to why I think it is the worst coaster. Kind of like a conclusion. A lack of theming, the lack of fun in this ride, and the lack of any smoothness. And the lack of good shape in these elements makes this one of the world and makes this a coaster I believe is the world's worst coaster. It has such rough so the final conclusion is let's say I did get a ride it, which I would probably give it a three give it a one out of ten. And that's being generous. I do think it would rank below Mind Racer eraser because at least mine eraser looks oak just this looks way worse than mine eraser in my opinion the trains are just terrible um now there is one good part about it with theming i should not say it has no theming it ha it is one of the cool it has one of the coolest stations i've ever seen so I give it a still, yeah, just one out of ten. The layout really isn't the bad part about it. It's just everything else except the layout and the theming. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment down below, and enjoy the rest of your day. Keep riding.